you've joined me today. Um, I had a chance to play along with the FMS 200 sketch challenge. So exciting. So this was the card that I made and I wanted to just do a quick tutorial so you could see how I did that. Now on this one, I did use some products that will be available on September 1st in the Stampin' Up! holiday catalog and you will be able to find them on page 40 and these are the thinlets that I used. If you need a catalog, just let me know and I'd be happy to send one out to you. So that's where these two came from. So in that set is a snow and a grateful. So I cut these out of the coaster board, the Stampin' Up! coaster board and out of um, the Whisper White card stock and I just glued these onto each other so they gave more of a 3D effect to my sentiment. And for the snow, I did the same thing, put it on coaster board, and then I just snipped the S and the O and glued that onto my card. All right, so today I'm going to make that same card using a different color. So I have a card base. This is our new thick um, white cardstock. It's awesome. This is a piece of Watermelon Wonder DSP. It comes in the paper stack. And then I have a piece of Whisper White. And I have my embossing folder. So what you'll want to do is put the embossing folder about two thirds the way up and run that through your machine. And then you're gonna flip it this way and leave a space between where you've embossed and, and where you're gonna start the next row and run that through your machine. And your piece should look something like this. So you'll have that cool space right there to put your sentiment so it really stands out. So what I'm going to do is melt these two. And this paper comes from uh, the stack that has all of the end colors. I believe it has four of each of these sheets in that paper stack. So I'll just mount that on here. And then I'll put on my embossed piece. I love this fast piece. It works so well. I cut the butterflies, so these are our new butterfly dies, and they match with the set that was previously released, so they all coordinate, and if you need any of these products that I'm showing today, I will have the item numbers listed and my website where you can go and shop for those. So I've die cut this one from Wisteria Wonder, so I'll go ahead and put him on. Fuse about there, and I used the greetings thinlet. So this one says thanks, and I've done the same thing. I've cut it from coaster board and from white, so it gives a more 3D effect. And we'll just put that on, and our card will be about done. I'll show you the last little trick that I did on there. on and then I wanted to add some sparkle so if you just mix the Tombow glue this one just a squirt with a little bit of water you'll get kind of this diluted solution and then you will grab a piece of scrap and a paintbrush an old paintbrush and then just flick some little speckles on there, however much you like, and then you'll grab your Dazzling Diamonds Glitter and sprinkle that on and our card will be all done. And that will stick to all those little spots that we put the adhesive on. So you can see it's sparkly pretty and ready to go out in the mail to someone special. 
Thanks for joining me. And again, if you need any Stampin' Up! products that I've shown today or any other products, just contact me and I'd be happy to help you out with that. Have a great day.